Good evening. Uh, welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today I'm talking about dynamically add domain up down select uh, control. Also, uh, how to use the selected item changed uh, using Windows Form C Sharp. Uh, uh, this all things are, are to do uh, by using the code file. So first of all, add a form in the Solution Explorer. That is form three dot cs file. nothing to do in the uh, front end I will uh, do all such things in the code file like uh, add dynamically add uh, domain up down control dynamically view that is the uh, form 3 load domain up down control domain up down uh, so first of all uh, uh, here we have a domain up down is a class in C sharp library so uh, create a object of the domain up down class by using this instance name that is uh, dynamically add we can invoke all such properties of that class uh, like uh, name like height width uh, location so uh, um, a location property actually uh, define the location of the control we can use uh, drawing dot points to define the locations point uh, that is the 1250 is a, a top left corner from uh, your window screen dynamically dot name that is uh, a domain up down uh, control width of the dynamic uh, up down control that is uh, 250 dot height of the dynamic up down control and that is 100 that's fine similarly uh, add these properties by using the instance name like uh, dot items dot add uh, if you want to add some items in the uh, domain up down control then similarly you can use list box uh, styles and the combo box style that like the uh, name of the control or you can say the instance name of the control dot items dot add um, methods through which we can add items in a control okay in previous video tutorial i have uh, all such things by using the compilation time uh, today I'm uh, here we discussed about uh, the runtime when the page is load these items are added automatically in the domain of down control run this application before using the selected item changed event Yeah, that is all such things are uh, clearly and sweet dynamically add dot text if you want to set the default text uh, of the control then you can use that's fine you can also use that uh, index property of the domain of down control uh, to making the default text so uh, let's to talk about the event handling of this uh, of the control so item state changed is a event name 
plus equals to um, raise the event handlers using event handler class system dot event handlers pass the object or you can say the method through which we can handle the event generate method step by using the visual studio refactors throw new um, no implementations rule supply the item state changed uh, to retrieve the item from the uh, domain up down control there's uh, item sender as item because here is the uh, sender as the domain up down control so so item dot text we can retrieve item dot text on the message box control so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial please keep watching my all video tutorials uh, to learn better and better thank you thank you very much